All right, here we go. Gonna get going. I think it's recording. Uh, hey, looks like a few people are joining here. Uh, we are going to build some legs and I'm gonna try to film the whole thing. So I might have to do parts of this one-handed. We'll see how it goes. Hang in there with me. Uh, here, let's get started here. Show you guys what we're working with. These are the things that I like to use. There's a lot of ways to build legs, but um, I make my legs out of two by threes, and then I clean these up a bit. I just run them through either the table saw or I sand the finishes so that you can get any stamps off of there, clean them up a bit. So we got four of those. They are cut to 14 inches, just square on the ends to start with. And then we drill holes through them. So I just like to use the Craig bit that we have here, standard size. I think it's a 3 8 bit. And then we drill those dead center using our drill press over there. And those are gonna be squared off in the ends, of course. And then we round that off. So just use your miter saw and then round that over. It's okay if it's burned a little bit, who cares? Uh, just use a um, belt sander to round that off a bit. So we've got four legs that are ready to go. They all have the holes, they're all rounded, ready to go. Now we just gotta put all this together. So we have our carriage bolts with two washers each, lock nuts. We've got a couple wing nuts here for when we temporarily place our legs. Uh, we've got some Craig screws for putting our brace in place. We've got our countersink bit. Mine broke, but I still use it anyway. And that's to get a nice deep hole when we're attaching our brace. And then we're going to pound some wood plugs and sand those off so we have some nice legs. Legs are always the trickiest part of the build, in, uh, in my opinion. And if you've ever made cornhole boards, you probably screwed up some legs before you made them. Uh, really easy. So this is the way I like to do it and uh, pretty much guarantee if you do it this way that as long as your frames are straight that you can build these and you'll know that your legs aren't going to wobble. They'll be uh, nice and secure. You won't have too many issues. So here we go. I'm going to talk to you but I have to put this phone down so I'll just keep yapping away while we get started. So first thing, I don't have any holes in my frames yet. So I need to mark those holes. I just have a simple little template with a couple holes screwed in it here. And those holes basically, all we're doing here is we're holding our leg in place where we like it. You know, if you like whatever rake you like, if you like it more splayed out or a little more upright. I like mine pretty much upright. So if you place your leg, and then drill a small hole through here, then you can easily make one of these templates. And that allows you to duplicate your bolt holes very, very easily. These bolt holes have to be exactly the same on both sides or your legs are gonna be all screwed up, okay? So, let's go ahead and drill those holes. Basically, I just line up this little template right to the end. And then I know that this little pilot hole is going to be exactly the same on the other side. In order to avoid a bunch of tear out on the inside, it's smart to go from the outside first and then come back from the inside and that'll reduce your tear out. Ooh, I went all the way through by accident, it's all good. These are stained, so I can just come back with a little bit of stain and clean that up in case there's any raw wood. Okay, now, now we're going 
going to temporarily fit our legs and make sure that they're sitting at the same angle. Okay. So those match, and these match, so that'll be a pair. So this is going to be a dry fit right now. We're not going to permanently attach anything, of course. That's why we have our wing nuts. Okay. We just want to make these snug so that you can see how they're sitting. And make sure, just with a quick visual check, that they're at the same angle. wing nuts temporarily to see how our angles are. Okay. Grab the phone and show it here. All right, so we have those temporarily in place with our wing nuts. They're at the rake that we like. And I can see here that I got real lucky here. These legs are sitting at the same angle. I don't have to do anything to adjust these. If this angle is off, it's because my bolt holes in the legs were a little off. So all I would have to do, don't redrill your holes. That's another benefit of having these little corner blocks in here. If this angle is a little off, you can see they're pretty much perfect. But if those angles are off, you can sand these blocks just a bit to get one of the legs further splayed out to match the angle of the other leg. If these angles are off, don't even continue because the rest of your leg build is going to be all messed up. Okay, those look good. So now I'm actually ready to go ahead and mark where I'm going to cut these legs and then I can put my brace on them. It's really that easy. So let me go ahead and set that up. conversations going on and questions and tips and everything else you can imagine cornhole related I need a flat surface to work on so we'll just use our frame jig big jig we use to put our frames together, but it also makes the perfect working surface to mark our legs. So, you know, jigs make the world go round. This is a simple one that you can just rest the board in playing position, and then you can adjust it a little bit if you need to to get 12 inches high, and then you can mark your leg cuts. So this, you can tell, is just a piece of scrap with a piece of scrap and a piece of scrap uh, cut to the same angle that the board sits at. <laughs> so that's a simple one. All right. So now our board is basically in playing position. 
And I can adjust this up or down a little bit if I need to, but I need this edge to be exactly 12 inches off of the ground. I need a pencil. And then, oops, I gotta plug my phone in. I don't wanna die. There we go. I think I got power. Yeah, we're good now. All right, so now I need to adjust this to exactly 12 inches. Oh yeah, right now I'm all the way up to like 13, so. Quite a bit. My legs are good. I know that they're at the same angle because they hit the base at the same place. Ooh, almost there. Okay, that side's good. That's still a little low. Okay, 12 inches and 12 inches, we're perfect. All right, so now I need to mark my cuts along flush with the ground, and then I'll know exactly where to cut these legs so they'll sit perfectly flush on the ground. And if you mark these on the same side, then you won't have to adjust your saw. So if I mark the right on one, mark the right on the other two. Show you real quick. I'm sure you can envision this. Okay. So basically the board's in playing position. This board's acting as our ground. I'm exactly 12 inches up here. And then I just mark my cuts, both of those legs. Okay. Let's plug in so my phone don't die. So now I'm gonna disconnect those legs and then I'll be ready to take it over to the miter saw. to forget to mark which one is left and which one is right because there might be some very very small differences between the two so you want to make sure that these are correct all right be right back i don't want to try to do this one-handed there's the saw over there. Let's see if I can get this to hold still here. There we go. So I got those cut now, and back in position. Now we're just going to tighten up our carriage bolts. This is where so this is where you're going to. 
to attach these legs permanently. And in order for them to swivel right, it's smart to put washers on the inside and the outside of the nut. Probably obvious, but you, know, you never know who's paying attention. If it's your first time you ever built these boards, just some little lessons we catch along the way. So nut, so washer, leg, washer, nut. Washer here, leg, washer, nut. Now we need to pound out. That's why we have five of everything, because as soon as you put it down, it's gone. Okay, so now, sometimes these aren't going to lay down just perfectly. You might be pushing up against the edge, or you might be a little splayed inward if you didn't get these bolt holes perfectly straight. That's not a big deal. All you need to do take a couple extra washers and use those to perfectly gap your legs with a couple clamps. I feel like I'm moving too fast. I don't want to screw anything up here. While people are watching, that'd be embarrassing. Alright, so if we use a washer, it's perfect gap because we also have a washer up here. We know our cuts are right because we checked that earlier. Everything is good. So now we just need to tighten up. You really only need to be about, I don't know, but you know, I'm not about to return some hard wrench to work because I'm an idiot. Sometimes this will happen. The bolt will start spinning on you. Then you just gotta grab it with some pliers and then keep going. We grab some pliers. To avoid this from spinning, you can also get carriage bolt washers. And those basically have a little square hole that pound into the wood, and that square metal washer holds the bolt perfectly in place, but, you know, extra hardware. school way. 
easy to make everything look easy when nobody's watching. But you know. You know what I'm going through right now. much with my left hand. to just be flipsy flopsy over here so I like to snug them up pretty good and because we use those washers we've got the perfect gap over here and over here So our leg brace is essentially the same as all these other cross braces. It's just cut like maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch less because it needs to fit nicely right inside of these frames. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're going to attach this. There are definitely more elegant ways of doing legs but, you know, we're creatures of habit. And we do things the way we've always done it, even if it's not the easiest or the most beautiful. It's what we know, and it works. So, I'm gonna use a deep countersink to get my hold ready. And actually, I'm only gonna do one for now. need to pivot just a little bit before I attach the other three. Okay, so this is just a little spacer, just a piece of the scrap that I use to space the brace so it's exactly over the center of the hole. Now I want to take that over here and make sure it's the same gap on both sides. That's why I only did one to start. using the one and a quarter inch Craig screws. Same stuff you use for all your pocket holes. Perfect for these two. There's no need to glue because these are very deep, very strong. Those are not going to budge. Okay. Now we're ready for some glue and some wood plugs.
just a little bit of glue, you don't need a lot. This will give it a nice finished look. I guess you could use wood filler if you want, but what's the point in that? You'll see the glue seeping up. If you put enough in there. We're going to sand those off in a few minutes, but for now, I'm going to let that dry while I work on the other set of legs. go so for now that's what our legs look like everything is nice no wobbles no nothing it's super strong and sturdy you could even let a chubby kid jump on your boards like you know they're going to and it'll be all right all right here we go we're gonna repeat all that thanks for hanging in there see nine people watching <laughs> hopefully more people will watch this someday you know nine is more than i thought i was ten now more than i thought i was gonna <laughs> if you have questions just put them in the comments and i'll get to that a little bit later i don't want to scratch up my pretty designs can see this. Here we go. Start with our pilot holes. This is that step that everybody messes up, I think. And their legs aren't right. Those two holes That'll screw you up faster than anything. Those aren't right. It's okay. We always have extras. Oh, there it is over there. <laughs> next to that hammer. Right next to the hammer that I had earlier.
from both sides, your hole will be a lot cleaner. Two. So these legs are right at the same angle. So that's a sign that your squares are, or your uh, frames are square, your blocks are the same, your holes are exactly the same, your dead center on your legs. All of those things have to happen for that angle to be the same. See if I can give you a better angle on this, maybe. There we go. That's a little better. So, now, okay, that's good. A little short here. Good. I think I might have lost some people, but that's okay. All right. We're going to go and we're going to take care of these buttons over here. 
Looking good. Nice and flush on the ground, super square. And we just gotta cl clear these buttons off of here. Sand those down a bit. go we got our legs built and attached we got our wood plugs in the only thing is we're gonna round over these braces with our quarter inch roundover bit so let's do that I want you to drop you guys Oh, yeah, still got a couple people on there. So we're gonna use our quarter inch roundover bit here. And you can see I don't extend it all the way, about two thirds of the way out. A full quarter inch round is kind of a lot.
Let me show you what we got. We built our legs. We cut them. We got the angles just right. We got our little braces attached. Wood plugs are in. They're sanded down. Everything's looking pretty. The only thing left, we even got these rounded. That's the step I just did. Rounding these off makes it feel a lot smoother, nicer on the hands. And that's where everybody's grabbing these suckers. So you want that to look good and feel good. There we go. The only last step is to brand these things. I'll do that later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you guys later.